Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi amma ba'd In our last talk that we gave some advice We talked about the issue of the impermissibility of a Muslim Participating and engaging in the celebrations of the non-Muslims Celebrations like Easter and Christmas and Halloween and Valentine's And birthdays and wedding anniversaries and the like and that is not because the scholars of Islam wanted to make life difficult upon the people. Instead, the scholars of Islam understood this religion. And they know that this religion came to make things easy upon the people. But the reason why they said that it was impermissible for the Muslim to engage in the celebrations of the non-Muslims is the fact that the Prophet wasallam brought this as a way of establishing the Islamic identity and the religion of Al-Islam where Al-Islam does not allow Al-Haq and Al-Batil the truth and falsehood to coexist Allah Azza wa said Qul madha ba'd al-Haqqi dalal What is there after the truth except falsehood? Allah said in the Quran Qul ja al-Haq wa zahiq al-Batil inna al-Batil kana zuhuqa Tell them that the truth has come and falsehood has disappeared Verily, the falsehood is an ever-fleeing issue. So the truth is Islam, and it can't coexist with the falsehood of the celebrations that are predicated and built upon a shirk and kufr, like Christmas and Easter and Valentine's Day and Halloween and the like. The Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he was invited and encouraged to try to mix his religion of a tawheed and the pure, pristine da'wah of al-Islam with the hawa and the desires of the kuffar of Quraysh, the surah was revealed, قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ And in that surah was the statement of Allah Ta'ala, لَكُمْ دِينُكُمْ وَلِيَ الدِّينَ دِينُكُمْ وَلِيَ الدِّينَ To you is your religion and to me is mine. And part of our deen are our festivities and our celebrations. When the Nabi came to al Medina sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he saw that the Ansar were celebrating and doing certain things in their celebrations. He said, what is this thing that you're doing? They said, this is something that our forefathers used to do. The Prophet upon hearing that, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said to them, inna Allah qad abdalakum ma huwa khayru minhu. Allah has replaced this celebration with that which is better than it. You have Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Abha, the two Eids, one that comes after Ramadan and the other one that comes after Al-Hajj. And then we have other celebrations like the Eid that is on a weekly basis, like Al-Jumah, where we wear nice clothes and so forth and so on. We have the Eid of the Aqiqah, if you have a child, the Nikah, the Walima. If someone were to be successful and getting a job or graduating from the university or something like that and he wanted to show his shukr to Allah Azza wa Jal, there's no problem with having a party of celebration but what we cannot allow ourselves to do is we cannot allow ourselves to borrow from the non-Muslim celebrations a man came and he said Ya Rasulullah I made an oath I made an oath upon myself to slaughter a camel at a place called Bawana should I fulfill my oath? The Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Mustafa asked the man, in that place, Bawana, is that a place where the idols of the mushrikeen were located and they're there now? The man said, no. He said, is that a place where the mushrikun, the non-Muslims, they do their celebrations? Is that where they do their celebrations and carry them out? He said, no. The Prophet said, then go ahead, it's okay for you to fulfill your oath. So we understand from that, if the man has said, yes, that's a place where they do celebrations, the Nabi would have said, don't do it. So, Ummat al-Islam, Allah Ta'ala has put forth a rhetorical question that is clear in terms of its answer. Would you take and exchange that which is better for that which is worse? The Eid of Islam, the celebrations of Islam that are connected to Tawheed and Ibadah and virtue, do we put that behind our backs and take these celebrations that are built upon disobedience to Allah, superstition, vulm, fitna, fasad, fisq, fajr, al-fajur, and at the top of the list, 
shirkum billahi subhanahu wa ta'ala so stick to the ease of al-islam barakallahu fikum